Will it be a USA sweep? The pressure is on Jasmine Fenlater with her very talented brakeman, Lauren Williams, the University of Miami graduate and Olympic gold medalist in track and field. Her season debut on the World Cup in bobsled. 531 in the front, the first team. 524. I tell you something, Lauren Williams is a rising star in what I see in bobsled. She's got the build for it, the speed, the explosion, 84.1. That's a lot of velocity. If Fenelator keeps this thing straight, she'll win a bronze medal here today. This will guarantee the United States a gold uh -oh. medal. Uh -oh. It will just be a case of which driver it'll be. She's, she's losing time it back. up. Boy, can, can she give up 1,400s here in the last yes, two serves? Yes, she can. You remember, Curiosus was perfect. It's going to be close. Needs to be perfectly straight here in the graveyard. For the USA medal sweep. No, she's wavering. Looking very close. good for the German here. Close. To the finish. And by a hundredth of a second, the American takes over the lead. Wow. Guaranteeing the USA a gold medal in this competition with unbelievable that start time she should kiss and break laura williams welcome to bobsledding i tell you she's just been in the sport for a couple months look at her technique the head's not going left to right and she's small so she can get in get down with that great aerodynamic presence Jasmine Fenelator losing time all the way back, but still had enough presence of mind in the straightaway to hold it to lead and win a medal by a hundredth of a second. Piloted by Jamie Grubel with Lolo Jones on the brakes. The United States, John, has already been guaranteed victory today here in Park City. 5.34 start in the first run. Lolo slip coming out of the blocks. Should be in the 20s. 5.26. So that sixth best start time in the first run, she didn't slip this time, and now Grubel's got a great start and great velocity, 84.6. Grubel medaled Calgary last week. She medaled last night. The pilot from Newtown, Pennsylvania, graduate of Cornell, Lolo Jones, a two-time Olympian, finished fourth at the London Games in track and field. She's lost a lot of time back. Remember, oh, six, she could lose two places here. She's got to be straight into the finish. The German will beat her. It's going to be right to the hundredth again. Uphill finish, and by the time of a second, two, two American Americans teams are tied with two sleds remaining. Tim, this is unbelievable. We have three four-man teams tied going into the second run of four-man box sled. Now two American sleds tied, so they get two silvers. Well, they could be two goals. Two sleds still to come here in Park City with the USA sitting in the top two positions. What a start. Lolo Jones didn't slip this time. Boy, the Americans are so strong at, at this athleticism in the front seat and the back seat. They are the strike. If you took the American drivers up against all the rest of the drivers, nobody could touch them. Same with the brakeman. The American Women's Program is the strongest athletically, and the drivers are learning how to drive the sleds. A history is being made. One, two, wow. three, or in this case, one, two, two for the United States.